Hello and welcome to the 12th episode of the Bull Session Podcast. I'm your host, Pluto Coffins, and this is your co-host, Jeremiah. What's up, yo? Um, today we're going to be discussing a lot of stuff, mainly pertaining to the election. Uh, we might cover a few videos, I'm not sure, because we also have a few articles lined up. Um, but we're going to talk about our personal lives first, because that's what you, we usually do. And me and Jeremiah, before the show, discussed what he would talk about, and mm-hmm. he and we discussed what I would talk about. Mm-hmm. And Jeremiah uh, didn't have shit to talk about, so we're going to go into me. Um, I've just been doing a lot of drugs recently, as normal. That's why I didn't post for two months. Uh, well, I posted a week ago, but before that, I didn't post for two months. I'm doing a lot of cocaine, probably a quarter of it in the last month, maybe a little less than that. Maybe in the last two months, I've done a quarter of it. But... um. I've also been doing a lot of psychedelics, like tripped a few times on acid, tripped twice on mushrooms in the last two months. I'm still smoking cigarettes, so that sucks because I want to quit them pretty badly, but they're very enticing. Yeah, you actually do look kind of cool smoking one. I, I do look cool smoking one, and it gets my point across, and all you got to do is point with your cigarette like that to make your, make your illustration, like I just did. Just got to ash in their direction. I know who's boss and shit. Um, so election. Uh, I'll just talk about, even though you already heard from me in my last video, a little bit about my thoughts on the election. Since Biden has 100% won, even though in my last uh, video he hadn't 100% won, but the election was pretty much over and I predicted that he'd win. Um, so I consider that being my election video. But for the podcast, I'm going to discuss my election views as well. So if you've already seen that shit, I'm sorry. Um, I didn't vote. I didn't like either of the candidates. I recognize that Joe Biden is the lesser of two evils. Um, I was a little relieved when he did get elected. Um, Put out the cigarette. But I can't say that I'm all too excited for his campaign or for his presidency. Um, Although he is better than Trump. Trump had a lot of shit wrong with him. Like, uh, he was good on some things. He got out of TPP. But he was awful on other things. Also, he was kind of good with North Korea as well. Biden's a little more hawkish with North Korea. Um, But Trump got out of the Iran deal. So Iran made ballistic missiles because we put sanctions on them. So obviously Iran's like, well, you're not holding up your end of the bargain. The Iran deal's over, so we're going to make ballistic missiles. Under Biden, I think that they're going to readminister the Iran deal. Under Biden, um, they're going to reinstate a lot of regulations that Trump got rid of. That's another thing. Trump deregulated a lot of stuff underneath his presidency, including regulations on tap water. Um, so that's one thing that Biden's going to do good. He's going to restore a lot of tap water. Um, but uh, fucking... Trump was also horrible with, uh, remember the Keystone Pipeline, where he yes. basically like stole Native American land for pennies on the dollar. That shit, and then there was all them protests and shit. He was horrible on that because also we don't need o- more oil in this country at all. We need, uh, we need a Green New Deal, and we need to fucking get off of oil because it's destroying our fucking planet. And it's going to run out. Yeah, and so, it's going to run out someday. Like, <laughs> Probably not in our lifetimes, but someday it will run out. I mean, at, a, at a certain point, like, there's still going to be some here, but like... Yeah, at a certain we point, find. we're going to have to switch anyways. We yeah. have the technology now. Why not do it? Plus, it'll be better for our planet anyways. But people want to be rich now. Fuck all that <laughs> Yeah, old little farts that already have billions upon billions of dollars want to be even richer for the fucking three years they have left. Um... But those are some things Biden's going to do that I think are good. But overall, I think Biden's going to be uh, another Obama, another fucking George W. Bush, another Clinton. Um, but Trump, he's like, he refused to concede the election. Like on election night, he said that he won. On Twitter, he's going like normal, throwing a tantrum and shit, saying that he won, saying that uh, he got legal votes and that Biden got illegal votes. He was telling people to stop the count. Um, 
all this fucking shit, right? And, uh, like, there's talk of, like, him not leaving the fucking White House and that people are going to have to throw him out on a lawn. Like, they're going to have to escort him out of the fucking light White House whenever he leaves Kicking presidency. and screaming and shit. Yeah. Imagine that ending to the Trump presidency. That being said, that disgrace of a man, that man-child, if he runs again in 2024, he's going to get the primary. I feel like it depends on who run, who's nah, running against him. I don't think so. Because... Uh, Who's going to run against him? Ted Cruz? You think Ted Cruz is going to beat Trump? We've seen that. It ain't going to happen. He was the president, mind you. Donald Trump was the president. If he runs for the Republican Party in 2024, he's got it. That being said, like, I think he, I don't think he'll win the... I mean, he might win the presidency. But as of right now for the 2020 election, which is what we should be focusing on at the moment, because mm-hmm. it's right now we should not be focusing on the future, which I'm, we are going to talk about the future, but right now it's done so. Trump, you're done. You won't. You lost the election. You lost. Like you saying you're gonna turn over ten thousand votes in Georgia. The only time votes were turned over by the Supreme Court, Gore v. Bush, twelve hundred votes. You tell me you're gonna turn that over ten thousand. So you get it done. You got. Okay, now Trump's got Georgia. Guess what? Biden still got Pennsylvania. Biden still got Arizona. Biden still got Nevada. He's still at like two ninety something, right? Still got Michigan. Yeah, he still got Michigan, bro. You're done, though. It's over. You're not the president. Face the fucking music, bitch. Anyways. <laughs> um, if Trump runs in 2024, no one's going to beat him. Say Mike Pence runs, right? Mm-hmm. You think the vice president is going to beat the president of the United States in a Republican primary with all his sycophantic fans? Like, there's a divide. In, gonna there's be- a divide in the Republican Party right now. You got the Trump Republicans and you got the neocon traditional conservatives. The neocons or the uh, Trump Republicans have a lot of fucking numbers and they're very loyal to Trump. Trump would win the primary like that. And he just got the most votes ever for a sitting president. And if you think that's 71 million votes, by the way, and if you think that's a lot, you should see the other guy. Because Biden got (laughs) 74 million votes. (laughs) Um, Oh, it sounds like Biden won. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> but I didn't vote for either of them. I live in Illinois. It's not a swing state. It was going blue no matter what, so I didn't have to worry. I do think Biden is the lesser of two evils. However, I would have much rather had a Bernie Sanders. By the way, Biden v. v. Trump 2024, if that happens, Trump's got it. He, he does. I'll, I'll, I can give him that. Trump's got it because he had four years of Biden, and the American population is going to be dissatisfied with him. And he also kind of he's kind of fuck some fuck some shit up on his way out. So like yeah, I don't know. Biden then has to like clear all that shit up. Yeah, probably won't. Honestly, probably won't be much progress. And now Trump can just come back. Yeah, Biden versus Trump. Trump's got it. It's that second go. That second go. This go Biden got it only by a hair, really, because Biden underperformed for the election and Trump overperformed. According to the polls, Trump overperformed. He got more votes than he was supposed to. And Bi- Biden was supposed to get like 351 electoral votes. Biden got 300. Around 300 or something like that. But yeah, yeah Biden will end like up that, getting yeah. around 300. He was supposed to get like 351 according to the polls. So Biden underperformed. Um, what do you think about the election? Um, I think. So that, the, am I so high that I just asked that? I'm a. I don't know. I, We're gonna go with it. What did you think about the election? Anyway, I think the. <laughs> and who did you vote for? Uh, well, I voted for Biden. Um, just. It wasn't even a. I'm gonna vote for this person that I like, whose, uh, policies I very much agree with. It's just, I I I, I have to. I can't vote for Trump. Like yeah. I can't do that shit. So. Yeah, it's kind of bullshit that that was my only choice, like on or technically I guess th- those two whatever were my only choice. Like, you just need more fucking choices. There, there should be more parties. Well, there are more parties, but there should be. That's that's how they get you. That's how the fucking wealthy keep their wealth. They only have two parties in power, and they both 
serve uh, the wealthy. One's Republican, one's Republican light. And you have a choice. One's good on social issues, and one's bad on social issues. Which do you choose? Sometimes the fucking Americans go with the one that's bad on social issues. I don't get it, but... Yeah. Um, any other thoughts? Um, Kanye 2024. Um, is happening. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we'll see how that and goes. And he didn't register to uh, run for president in the traditional way this election cycle. So it's like he really didn't even run. And he only had like one campaign ad. So like, I want to see an actual campaign by Kanye. I want to see him doing concerts. Kissing babies and shit. Yeah. I want to see an actual campaign. I want to see him like doing concerts to like political shit. Like, I'm a fucking... I can't rap. But... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what the fuck that was going to be. Uh, let me think, bro. Universal health care is where it's at, y'all. The fuck Kanye was that? 2020. It's not Kanye. Because <laughs> I'm a motherfucking monster. And I like to fucking support the people. It does sound like Kanye. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, we're going to get into the articles. This first one, you are going to like, Jeremiah. Let's, let's cross that bridge when we... <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're okay, going like to like this, it, yeah. bro. I'll read it. Election Day was a major rejection of the war on drugs. In every state where marijuana legalization or another drug policy reform was on the ballot, it won. By the way, I already covered this in the last video I did, but we're going to cover it on the podcast because fuck you and I like this news. Um, we still don't know with certainty who will be the next. Yes, we do. It's going to be Joe Biden. Um, it's anyone's game. Unless, like, Trump, like, does some sort of coup, um, which I could see. Um in every state where a ballot measure asked Americans to reconsider the drug war, voters cited, voters cited with reformers. In Arizona, Montana, New Jersey, and South fucking Dakota, voters legalized marijuana for recreational purposes. In Mississippi and South Dakota, separate from the full legalization measure, voters legalized medical marijuana. In Mississippi. In Oregon... Voters decriminalize, but not legalize, all drugs, including cocaine, hell yeah, and heroin. Ain't really into that. Um, <laughs> also in Oregon, voters legalize the use of psilocybin, fuck yeah, a, a psychedelic found in a psychedelic drug found in psilocybin containing magic mushrooms for supervised therapeutic uses, which is kind of gay. I like to do them by myself, and then come over here freaking out and have Jeremiah calm me down. Um... <laughs> There aren't any birds. It's it's pretty true, ain't it? I've been over like I don't come over here every time on mushrooms, but I've been over here a lot where I'm like I'm freaking the fuck out. And I haven't lived once here, on you, acid. I haven't lived here a year. You you have come over here like and about, then about four times. Yeah, and then <laughs> two times I was freaking out on acid. I went over to Ella's, so like it's either you or her, and it's usually you with the mushrooms because I've never freaked out on mushrooms and went over to her place. Um, in Washington D.C crazy. Voters, in effect, decriminalized psychedelic plants following the lead of several other cities. On federal lands, they're going against federal fucking law. Washington motherfucking D.C. bitches. How you feel about this, Jeremiah? I feel incredible about this. This is a, 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 very, a very progressive step for America to end the war on drugs and Treat drugs like they really are. Like, they're decriminalized right now, and I believe in the full legalization and regulation of drugs. We'll get there. Um, <laughs> we're not there yet, but it's amazing that they were able to decriminalize all drugs like cocaine and heroin. I didn't think that we were there that in America yet, but apparently in Oregon we are. And, um, yeah, you're treating like drugs like they should be treated. Like, either it's a mental health issue or it's just someone trying to get their fucking rocks off. They don't need to throw them in a fucking cage, you know? And they're adults. Like, kids doing drugs, I get why you should have measures to prevent against that. Um, definitely find kids for using drugs. 
asked me when I was 16, I wouldn't have the same opinion. Um, uh, that being said, I do think you should be able to do everything at 16, like age of consent, driving, like we drive at 16, it's like a speeding fucking bullet down a highway, so I think you should be able to at least smoke pot, drink, smoke cigarettes. I don't know, that's... Vote. Your, what is it, your brain hasn't fully, like, developed? Fuck it. It's good. Halt production. Not, not 16. That's what I used to say when Jesus. I was 16, whenever I'd be doing a lot of drugs. And drinking a lot, I'd be like, we'd be talking about like, you know, our brains ain't fully developed. We actually literally talked about that. Stone out of our minds about how we're fucking up our brains. I'd be like, uh, and I hit the joint. And I'd be like, halt production, <laughs> cause fuck it. Um, it feels good. Um, but yeah, this is a this is an amazing step in the right direction, in my opinion. Absolutely, and um, again, uh, especially especially even if it wasn't like legalized but especially just the the decriminalization you know like you said treating it either as as you put it uh someone wanted to get their rocks off yeah um or just a mental health issue um and i think with the legalization i feel like that should go towards uh that that should like that money sh- uh, should be used as far as the taxes should be used on like Whatever the community education. or education, the community if, if someone education. is in and drug and drug education, drug education, um, even rehabs and shit. I know like, a lot about drugs, but I hang around drug addicts. Cause I'm a drug addict. Let's be real. Um, but I hang around drug addicts, and they are retarded. They do shit that I would never do in a million years. Taking uppers and downers at the same time, big quantities of them. That no, um, yeah, you got to research drugs if you're gonna be a drug user. Go on Arrowhead, go on Shroomery. Go on fucking websites and do your research. See what a proper dosage is so you don't fucking... Like, a gram of cocaine, like, I mean, people have tolerances and shit, and they can do whatever. But if you do a gram of cocaine in under an hour, you're going to OD. Especially if it's your first time doing cocaine. But, yeah. And people make stupid decisions, so. And when you're high on cocaine, let me tell you, you feel real good and you want to do line after line. But, um... Yeah, I don't know. Drug drug users can be kind of stupid, and I think if you decriminalize it and educate people on drugs and legalize and regulate drugs and sell them, that's my opinion. Um, and all that money and shit goes to schools and shit um, and education. I think there would be a lot less overdoses and people would be more educated and aware about drugs and their their effects and what they do to your fucking body. And there'd be less tweakers out there because there'd be less people getting hooked. And it also, but um, and there'd be less people sucking dick for drugs. I mean, I guess it's just I, I don't know. About, I don't know about yeah, that, but there'd be uh, less people like selling their fucking uh. Nah, that'd still be that. But there, there'd be less people doing it. I feel like I feel kid, like there'd be less people doing it, but there'd still be people doing it. Yeah, I feel like that would um, it would lessen somewhat some of the stigma, which can keep people from receiving the help they need. Um, I don't know. You see, like a drug addict and it's easy to kind of like just write them off like ah whatever that that person made their fucking mistakes um but as you said like with education that can be prevented yeah and also with getting clean substances instead of cut shit that will do more harm to your body if it's cut than if it's clean you get clean heroin and shit it's a lot better for you than shit that's cut with fentanyl I'm just saying but yeah any other thoughts? Um, drugs 2024. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we're going to get into the next article, which I might cover later on my own because I find it interesting. But Trump voters uh, are flocking to a TV channel that claims Biden is not president elect. This is not it, I don't think. Yeah, this is not it. I don't know what the fuck this is. But it was Trump staff plans intervention for him.
Okay, well, fuck it, I guess. I guess it's not on here anymore. Or maybe I'll check the next tab, and then I'll say fuck it. Well, we got Nancy Pelosi saying they should stage an intervention, but I saw that his actual staff was planning an intervention on him. Um, here, we'll read this instead. Trump has told people he has no plans to concede even if his path to victory is blocked. You mean um, lost? Yeah. <laughs> it's blocked. Um, yeah, it's rigged. You're the president, dude. If anyone's rigging an election, I feel like it would be the president. You know? Um, facing a disappearing pathway to victory, losing an election, um, President Donald Trump offered little indication on Friday he was prepared to concede defeat, leading those around him to wonder who might be able to reckon with a leader who has given virtually no thought to leaving the White House. Even as the vote totals now show him trailing former Vice President Joe Biden in key battlegrounds, Trump has not prepared a concession speech and in conversations with allies in recent days, has said that he has no intention of conceding the election, people familiar with the matter said. So he has been bolstered in his stance by those closest to him, including his senior advisors and his adult sons, who have mounted an aggressive effort in the courts to challenge the results and have pressured other Republicans into defending him. Top aides, including his chief of staff, Mark Meadows, have not attempted to come to terms with the president about the reality of what is happening. Instead, they have fed his baseless claim that the election is being stolen from underneath him. His damn, staff... That's, that's cold-blooded. God damn. What the fuck? They basically just call him a bitch. God yeah. God damn. They're, like, feeding into his delusions. And then they're... But I also read, like, a few days ago, there was an article that came out on something. It might have been the Daily Beast or some shit. But it was like uh, their his staff are now planning an intervention because it's clear that he like lost. But this is like a little older. But that's crazy that they were uh, feeding into his delusions initially. No, no, he won. Yeah, what? that's crazy. But no, he did not win, and they should do that intervention soon. And it's just crazy that they have to do an intervention with the president. I don't and that. Th- th- oh, good, sorry. Go, go ahead. ahead. No. I don't think the intervention is gonna fucking work. I don't think it is like, either. That's not He's gonna keep going on Twitter and shit. Trump. We'll we'll check his Twitter in a fuck, second. Why like, not? What the fuck? We'll check his Twitter in a second because fucking you'll see how the fuck he's acting. God, what if he barricades himself in the fucking White House in the Oval Office? That's what I heard. Oh, there shit. was an article that came out saying that he was like he was talking shit, saying he was gonna do that, and the response to that was something akin to the United States government is very. Uh, good at dealing with trespassers. Essentially saying they're going to throw him out of the White House. Imagine Trump going out of the White House, kicking and fucking screaming. Oh my god. That'd be he an amazing end to this down presidency. on the ground yeah. and fucking uh, zip ties. Yeah, dude. He can show every mm. one of them Trump Republicans. This is how your fucking president acts. Just shoot him with some tear gas. Just also... Yeah. Just, you remember having a kid? Because they're all old farts. You remember having kids? You remember when there were two and they acted like that when you took them home from their friends or whatever? Yeah, that's what your fucking president is doing. Put his ass in a corner. And you know what's even funny? <laughs> fucking back in 2016, all these fucking, uh, like, Ella was doing that shit back in the day. But anyways, uh, fucking, um, the not, not my president, all the Democrats, well, not all of them, but like some Democrats, like a French group of them, were like, bro. Bro, uh, bro. I'm gonna have to fucking talk to you in a minute, cause that pissed me off. Um, uh, let's see if this is still recording. Cause last time he did that, that turned off the recording, and we had to start all over again. Like I declined your call. Anyways, uh, and also don't. I was just at his house. Anyways. <laughs> Um, and he's barred out of his mind. Anyways, um, fucking, uh, the not my president shit, like the French group of Democrats that were doing that shit, like mainly kids, but they were putting not my president on all their social media, yeah. tweeting not my president. Now the, uh, Republicans are doing that. 
See, that's the thing. They always, like, shit, like, Republicans, just any, like, uppity motherfucker. Shits on the next motherfucker. Yeah. And then when they don't get their way, they do the same thing. And it's just like... And yeah. They, yeah. And they look at you like, oh, why are you making fun of me? It's like, you, you started it. Remember you four like, years ago? <laughs> yeah. It's just a never-ending cycle of this stupid bullshit. That's why I don't, I don't like either of them. They're both fucking two sides on the same coin. And it's stupid. And there really should be more parties. And we should have had a Bernie Sanders fucking victory this year. And I honestly believe that in 26... Well, in 2016, there's evidence that they fucked with his election in the primary. But this year, there hasn't been any evidence of it yet. But I guarantee you they fucked with it. Like, come on. No no establishment Democrats can let Bernie Sanders win the primary. That's an aside, though. That's my, my conspiratorial nonsense, I guess. But Bernie was my man... And he will always be my man, and I hope he runs in 2024, because fuck him. Assuming he isn't senile by then. He, he, he seemed to have his, his shit about him. Way, way more than Biden. Oh, yeah. Like, I don't think there is much clips of Bernie Sanders slipping up like Biden did. Like, he called, Biden called his wife his sister. Didn't he say, like, that he won the fucking, um, Congress or some shit? He said he was running for Senate. Oh, right. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. But he was running for the president. But, yeah. Um, I guess that's all we're going to read about that article. Let's go into the videos. The videos. The videos. This video is kind of fucked up. Cool. Yeah. do 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 fucks up because I always do them last. Alright. 65 year old woman. Uh, now let's cover the PragerU video first. Hey, it's me, your skin. Some cleansers get. Fucking hate the ad. Alright. I'm the president of the New York State Association of PBAs. And I just want to talk to, to, to you, the press, and I want to talk to the police officers. 375 million interactions with the public every year. 375 million interactions. Overwhelmingly positive responses. What? Overwhelmingly positive I responses. But I read in the papers all week, we all read in the papers, that... In the black community, mothers are worried about their children getting home from school without being killed by a cop. What world are we living in? That doesn't happen. It does not happen. I am not Derek Chavon. They are not him. He killed someone. We didn't. We are restrained. And you know... He killed someone. We didn't. But... But he killed someone. And he was a cop. And he abused his authority. And that's why there's an issue with uh, police brutality in America. And we're not saying all cops do it. I'm However, it all, but... do you remember the saying? I think I said it on the earlier podcast. But John Oliver pointed out, very genius by the way, because they're always like, it's just a few bad apples. What's the saying? A few bad apples spoiled the, the bunch. bunch. It's not that long of a saying. It's weird that they chopped that up. Yeah. <laughs> like, they got they got the first part of it, and then they forgot the last half. There's just a few bad apples. There's just what? a few bad <laughs> apples. <Yeah. laughs> that means they're like, what? There's no saying in that. What is that? What wisdom does that, like, hold? That doesn't hold shit. Yeah. It's a few bad apples that spoiled the bunch. I think, uh... And, and this guy, you can tell, in his mind... He thinks he's given like some grand fucking speech. He's like, and none of these people, <laughs> none of them, they didn't shoot anyone, and I didn't either, and we're cops, and this is what we stand for in America. So y'all have never shot anyone like that. That's <laughs> I'm my sure thing. they have. Like, come on, bro. Maybe for it, better reason. Look like he shot someone this morning. Like, <laughs> <what the fuck? laughs> right after getting coffee. <laughs> busted someone for weed. Huh? What? I'm saying this to all the cops here. 
Because you know what? Everybody's trying to shame us. The legislators, the press, everybody's trying to shame us into being embarrassed about our profession. Well, you know what? This is not No one's trying to shame cops, you know? We're trying to defund them, which, by the way, a little side note, when did defund mean, like, uh, abolish? Because they've been defunded in schools for years. For years. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, like, like, we still got schools. schools, schools. <laughs> I mean, sometimes, sometimes, like, we mean, like, you don't need, like, a bunch of, dude. Dude. Oh my god. That, oh my god. Anyways, we've been defunding the schools for years and we still have schools. We're still gonna have the police if we defund the police. We just don't want them having fucking tanks. Yeah. Which in some cases they do. They don't need a fucking Lamborghini cop car. That is a thing in like certain places in California. Like a Lamborghini. Just get, get you a fucking coupe. A yeah. Toyota. God damn. It's fucking, yeah. That pissed me off. I wish he would quit calling. He's, like, fucked up beyond belief. And, like, oh, my God. I hope he sees this podcast and realizes what a fucking butthole he's being. Um, <laughs> fucking, uh, but, yeah, no one's trying to shame cops. We're trying to get them to do the right thing and do their jobs correctly. I would argue it's... We're trying if to shame f- the cops that actually do that shit, sure. But at the same time, if police stations across this fucking country, not just not just an uh, isolated thing across the country, are fucking up to the point where innocent people are fucking being murdered and nothing happens to the cop, I mean, just shame to get the job done. Like, just yeah. literally, just like, just to be like, because they don't shame each other. No, they kind of sweep shit like that underneath the rug. It's a real, like... Also, you need to have the police quit policing the police. You need to have, like, some sort of alternate entity doing that. Yeah, yeah, like, for me, at this moment, I can't be my own boss. I'm too... Yeah. Like, I need some structure and some fucking... Some rules. I need some consequences. Yeah. I won't get shit done. Like, yeah, so... exactly. Um, but yeah. Stained by someone in Minneapolis. It's still got a shine on it. And so do theirs. So do theirs. For over 39 years, I was a police officer in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. For 15 of those years, I was the sheriff of Milwaukee County. I've done everything you can do as a cop. From walking the beat, to investigating murder, to running the agency. I've met a lot of cops of every race, ethnicity, and background. Here's what I can tell you. Cops are not perfect. That's not a news flash, but this might be. They don't have to be perfect. They have to be excellent. And most officers reach excellence every single day and often under very... I disagree. I think... I mean, a lot of cops are douchebags. Even if they don't kill people and do shit like that, they're still douchebags. And they don't treat people with respect. And, yeah... I don't, I, mean, I don't. I don't think that's excellent. I don't think being a douchebag is excellent. I mean, he may be referring to you know their uh, their ticket quota. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck them. They exceed that shit. Yeah, they do. <laughs> they meet that shit every month. Difficult. Imagine having a job like that. Just pull anyone over. I was gonna say if that was that guy again. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but yeah, imagine having a job like that. You just pull anyone over, give them a ticket and shit. That'd be badass. Circumstances. Circumstances you can't... It's a really gangster lifestyle. I mean, so... In a weird way. You shouldn't be a cop. Is what <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I should not be a cop. <laughs> so, so it's a very, very gangster lifestyle. I, I like you will it. come in immediately dirty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where's the coke at? Dirty cops We're going like, to start storing this shit. The dirty cops will be like, bro, <laughs> calm down. Like, bro, we're taking over the fucking world, man. We're taking over the world. They, they'd report you. <laughs> they'd like, you're just <laughs> Imagine, and wouldn't want to if you could. Perfection is an unattainable goal. Cops are ordinary human beings. 
like everyone else. Lawyers. Yeah, you don't have to be perfect to not shoot someone in the back as they're running away. Not just shoot them, shoot them a bunch of times. Yeah, and then plant a taser on them. I don't, that's not this case, but that's a case I, I remember a video of. Put a taser on him. Yep. Said he grabbed a taser, ran away, which makes sense. Um, but yeah. I mean, yeah, like it's. Or driving up to a kid with a BB gun and shooting him out of your window and then driving off. A literal drive-by that happened. Remember yeah. that kid, the 12-year-old? To uh, Tamir Rice. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, you don't have to be perfect to, uh, to not commit those crimes. Just decent. Yeah, you just, just have to be yeah. a decent fucking human being. <laughs> Surgeons and baseball players, they make mistakes. But no profession works harder to correct its mistakes. You can mark social progress by the improvements made by police departments over the last 50 years. Today, police are more professional, better educated, and better trained than at any time in their history. You wouldn't know it, though, if that's not that's true. You, even if it was. Like, people in like, the Army will tell you, like, cops in these videos, you'll see them pointing guns at people. People in the Army will tell you, you never point a gun at someone. Like, even in the Army, you never point a gun on someone unless you're planning on shooting them. Yeah, yeah, that's... It's gotten better. I, I mean, I guess. Like, motherfuckers aren't getting hoses and dogs. Well, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> like, no. It's gotten... Like, sure, it's gotten a little better, but it's also, like, there's still a lot of, they're not always innocent. Maybe they should be, like, arrested, but they should definitely not be fucking killed. But uh, sometimes they are innocent, like a kid holding a BB gun. Or a dude selling, c- I mean. Cigarettes, yeah, that, I mean, that's illegal. That's illegal, a ticket. That's a like, ticket. Yeah. And then you got choked to death. I don't think cops are the good guys. You listen to self-serving, self-righteous politicians and activists, and their version of history, the police are the villains of the story, not its heroes. Like, everything else this crowd... I don't think all cops are villains, but some of them are. But also you said in their version of... Like, you mean just history? Like, yeah. No, they, they have served not the people, but the fucking... Didn't bigger ups, the, the um, fucking... Like, Sheriff Star come about from, like... Slave patrols? Yeah, slave patrols. Yeah, those were... The stars they wore. I think uh, policing, like, started, started in, like, Greece or some shit, but, like, the current policing that we have in America, it traces back to uh, slave patrols. Yeah. It does. They've got it all backwards. The police aren't the problem. The politicians and activists are. The police didn't create the failed urban policies that have locked people into generational poverty. The police aren't responsible for fatherless homes, failing schools, and bad lifestyle choices. I mean, kind of. Like, no, you are. Yeah, because like, you're oh, arresting we, fathers, and then you're taking We're not away the reason that fathers aren't in a home, but yeah, no, and you, then, you literally... And then the mother the has to take care of them, and then there's poverty, and then the kids, like, they do drugs because their fucking dad's in prison. There's poverty. And then they get into gangs school taxes, because that's the only shit around. And then it's just a never-ending cycle of people going to prison and more poverty. It's like a like a what do you call it like a, like a, a school to prison pipeline. <laughs> and they sure as hell aren't responsible for the lack of respect shown to police officers. It is this lack of respect for authority, fostered over decades by the progressive left and its fear the police narrative, that has led to the needless deaths of so many young black men. When Officer Darren Wilson told Michael Brown to get out of the middle of the street in Ferguson, Missouri, did Brown comply? That doesn't mean he should be killed, and also I'm done with this video because we only have about 40 seconds to record. Um, (laughs) So, anyways, uh, that doesn't mean he should be killed. If anything, he should have been arrested and, like, normal. And he, no fucking police brutality involved and not a fucking murder. Um, Anything else you got to say? Got like twenty seconds. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, bullshit cops are bullshit cops. Fuck, uh, fuck bad cops. Uh, tear the system down. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I support defunding the police and uh, yeah, the election and shit. Drugs, hooray! Fucking, I hope you enjoyed the bull session podcast. Like and subscribe. Peace out.